Not the s slot. <laughs> High five, Stephanie. Tara. Mullen. What you doing? Good morning, my lovelies. First of all, I am currently applying makeup because well, Dushan and I were basically two slots today. Not the s slot. I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> We just couldn't really get out of bed, we couldn't start doing anything, we haven't even started editing tonight's vlog and it's like, oh my god, 20 to 3. We're now getting ready, well I'm getting ready and we are gonna head to town to go to Brighton. Dusha needs to buy a new, new sweater because we realized that he currently only seems to wear one. And that's pretty much it. We are basically just gonna kind of roam around, he's gonna shop and I'm just gonna join him and hopefully we're gonna see a little bit of Brighton and show you around so let's go! Hello my lovely! Stefane! I love you! I love you! I love you more! I love you more more! I love you bye bye! <laughs> Copycat! High five Stefane! And I'm currently taking Dushan to the Royal Pavilion Ice Rink but I don't know what to expect because it's starting to rain. This is so beautiful and this is why I'm so happy to be living in Brighton. However, way too many people. So I guess we're gonna come tomorrow. So I'm gonna show you my outfit of the day since we're not already going ice skating. It's pretty simple. I'm wearing my favorite Bama coat, chunky Club Monaco scarf, Jimmy Choo bag and shoes. I love these shoes, look at this love them and some girlfriend denim jeans but different to the ones I always wear and guys sorry I haven't vlogged much in town but we got back we weren't very productive, however we did shop and I'll show you later what we bought. Just like few, very very few little things. Um, I'm back home and I have to unpack from yesterday. I have a lot to unpack because we'll be traveling on Monday so I need to get my suitcase ready for the trip. This is all the crazy mess I have to get rid of. Dushan's doing some work as well. So yeah, let's start now. later I obviously like tidied up the the wardrobe room and I had to edit today's vlog or yesterday's day for today's vlog I uploaded it and now I have to continue with like some other tasks I thought I'd show you what I received in the mail in the past few days while I was in Switzerland so first thing that I got really really excited for is this Nicholas Kirkwood for Bulgari backpack I really really love it I have so far four Bulgari bags but this is definitely a unique one because it is a backpack and because of the very very special work on it one of the things that I'm probably most excited about is this Mars palette and when I opened it I realized that it's all of my favorite colors for eyes I obviously already tried some and it's like so super pigmented and it's called Wanted Eyeshadow Palette. Other two that came in the post are these La Mer products, my favorite, 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 the Renewal Oil, as well as the Moisturizing Soft Cream. I've mentioned these products so many times in my videos, so I'm obviously very excited that I received them. I received these Christmas crackers from Clarence, as well as this Magic Books from Pixie. And here we have Rose Caviar Essence. It's like a moisture serum as well as the Flash Balm. And on the other side, we have some um, lip glosses, if I got that right. Also, I don't know if I've shown you my Christmas tree. It's, um, it's kind of like gold, silver, white, 
all sorts of different things this season. I love it so much. It's like super Kira Kira appropriate. This is the new bobble we got this year and I received it as a gift. It is handmade with my initial and Swarovski crystals on it. I don't know if you can see that. It's so beautiful. I will link the link where you can order it online and it's so beautiful because it's custom made and I think it's just such a kind, kind gift for Christmas as well. So you can bring it to your friends if you don't want to spend a lot of money. It's really inexpensive and it's a beautiful Christmas present. We also have S as on everything else. It's my um, nephew's initial and we have many, many more. I love Harrods Christmas shop. That's where I get most of my baubles and they're just so cute. We also have a tea. Of course, because I would be so jealous if there would be only one for my nephew, right? It is the end of the night and I've just edited the vlog, I've uploaded the vlog and I'm actually about to jump in the shower and go to sleep. I don't know why, but I'm feeling kind of tired today. It was a bit of an emotional day, but for now I wanted to tell you something that's been playing on my mind for a very long time and that is excuses. There is a whole video I can actually film on this topic because excuses are something that we give ourselves to make us feel better about not achieving what we want to achieve. And why that is? It's because brain is a very, very incredible organ. It protects us and it protects us in such an incredible way that I, I could talk about that as well for hours. Like, it protects us from traumatic situations, it protects us from thinking that we're failures, it protects us from so many different things that you wouldn't even know and that's like on a deeper level. Um, when we don't get a job we say, oh, it's because that other person who has connections got it. When we don't get a good grade it's because the teacher wasn't fair enough. When we miss a bus it's because the bus driver wasn't nice enough. It's always blaming someone else. Whereas actually we also have the power to change the situation, you know, because if you actually studied there's no chance you could have failed the exam and that a lecturer would have been unfair to you. If you left the house on time, you wouldn't have missed the bus. There is no need to give yourself constant excuses for everything around you and I'll tell you why. If you keep giving yourself excuses, you will never progress because you are telling yourself you are here because you don't stand chance in life. Do you want not to stand chance in life and to always have excuses for failure? I actually have been a victim of other people's excuses for all of my high school. As mentioned in my previous video, I actually was a pretty good student, but I also had a very, very good social life in high school. I would go out three times a week, which is a lot. It sounds a lot, but actually in Serbia it's not that much because we have really, really great nightlife and really great social life in general. And I was constantly labeled as someone that was teacher's favorite, that I have connections. It was always like, hmm, easy for Tamara, like easy for her. And to be honest, throughout high school and in general throughout the school, I felt like I was different to my classmates because I came from a different background and for that reason I was different. If you think people get bullied only because they are chubby or because they come from poor background or because they are different in like disadvantaged kind of way, that's not really true at all. I feel like I was pretty advantaged and I was bullied for that. So the reason why is because people found excuses for my success and for the fact that I was pretty happy and pretty good and they were constantly blaming me for their lack of success. Um, in fact, whole of my life I felt like even sometimes my friends would um, sometimes blame me for the lack of their success in certain fields, either in love life or in work life or in, um, in general in life, just because I don't complain and I don't show my kind of lack of success like that because I don't like to complain. It's like part of who I am, remember? I don't complain. So because of that people often uh, would have blamed me for their lack of success and that's something that has developed a lot of things around, a lot of theories and a lot of things I was bullied about throughout high school. I hope this is making sense. Is this making sense? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, today I wanted to tell you, I know we agreed not to complain throughout December. Can we also agree not to make excuses? out of everything. Like, don't try and blame yourself for everything. 
that's not what I'm saying. But don't blame other people and other circumstances and life and life not being fair for everything. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Try and take responsibility for things and try and realize what, what you've done wrong and take responsibility in order to next time not do it and to excel and to progress and to go on in life. That's just something I want to say. I would really like to share more experiences with you guys when it comes to excuses and when it comes to blame and being different and being bullied. And if you do guys have any of your own experiences, please, please, please share them in the comment box below because I would really like to hear them. So now that we had a really nice chat and I could tell you everything I'm thinking about lately, it's time to go to bed. Have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow, same place, same time. Night night.